We're broadcasting from b and Spring Stadium in Baltimore, Scaryland. There's some history behind this team, Bricks. 23 years ago, the original Leveland Burns snuck out of Leveland, leaving their fans heartbroken. They relocated to Baltimore and renamed themselves the Razors. But they were based in Leveland, Grim. I can completely understand the move. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Nashville Vikings take on the Baltimore Razors. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. They said, how I know you, idiot, even if you got the answer right. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, the burn returner was made by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. He refuses to go down. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Boom! And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot five. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third down and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Berserker rage kicking in. This guy, he never had a mind to begin with. Yeah, you're right. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. run for five yards oh no that was totally unnecessary <laughs> i gotta see that one again it was also freaking awesome i hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere second down and five it's two yard run before he stopped Four. 
Six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And that'll be second down and four. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot two. And he's off to the races. Oh, a great catch, and he picked... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. You gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. Opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. You gotta keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. hot. Hey, oh, what a hit! Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a ten-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And the crowd goes wild! Touchdown! Touchdown! point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Four. 
for the first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. Oh. 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 And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Oh, that was a snooze fest. Second and three. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Beeper Brain ran with a ball and didn't fall out. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. It was a risky throw in the defense, man. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, I don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Crap, I just dash. On it. Well, why go for one when you can go? Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than you guys. It in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Wow, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. <laughs> And it's 
first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Man, what a hit that was. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. First and ten. Kickers can kick it over 50 yards in these brutal conditions. Let's see if he can do what few others can. That was like a movie trailer, Grim. And it's a miss. Looks like the QB has some issues with the ball placement. Spikes out. Spikes out. How many times do you have to tell that idiot QB to hold the ball with the spikes out? With that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Oh, mama, just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. And 
It's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And that'll be second and tired of the quarterback tight spiral. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? moving he picks up five yards on that play second and three oh, he just ran into the line at the dmv and guess what man deadline ain't moving yeah and the defense quickly calls a timeout they want to get the ball back third down and three <laughs> and with one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Skid marks. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Boom! Dead and down! He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message. Because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles! This is going to be one hell of a kick if he can make it. What a shame. It's still just a field goal. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points. Let's move on. He's going to hit him now. He only has... <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna go to a strip show. Where we going? Yeah, I got one. 
just sell down, just pitch a rabbit, Lenny. Just pitch a rabbit. <laughs> Turn here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the fuel expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Dick's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? They get the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Pick six, but dropped the interception. Yeah, that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Kill this berserk dirty trick. He's fans in a QB. It's like this guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one. Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. <laughs> Man, 
The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And here comes the extra point attempt. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a sack there! I heard this guy likes to play with softballs. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down and long. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Third down and long. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Don't do anything stupid here. Just pump the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snapped. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to... Air ball! And then we start running ghosts at the end. Just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. The defense lost another line basher on that play, and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. Second down and ten. warming up and that's perfect coverage nice deflection so well, here comes the punting unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. He says, I'm taking you with me. This guy told me today, Bricks, he had to step up his game. Not only did he step up there, he... Razors lose the game by forfeit. And as you know, Bricks, forfeit is the ancient Latin word for an ass-kicking. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid-raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other...